Merchant Rellis here with columnist Bob Robb. And of course, I'm aware of Turkey's place in the geopolitical community. But for the benefit of former Senator Flake, who's just been appointed ambassador, could you give us a quick tutorial on what he's up for being an ambassador to Turkey? Uh, a lot of uh, very difficult and tricky uh, diplomatic undertakings. I, I think most people's reaction to Flake getting an ambassadorship was, oh yeah, that's a nice cushy political reward. He supports Biden and so he gets an ambassadorship. Uh, Turkey is one of the more troubled and tricky relationships we have. Uh, and uh, Flake is gonna be the point man for the Biden administration. Um, on a very naughty diplomatic challenge. Yeah, the, your, your column goes through a history essentially from for the last 20 years, but it definitely seems like there's a couple events recently that are going to, uh, I guess, make his days more difficult right off the bat? Uh, there are. I mean, Turkey, I describe as arguably the greatest disappointment in the world. Um, in the uh, post 9-11 era. Uh, it was hoped that it would become a very successful Muslim uh, country committed to democratic capitalist uh, principles. Uh, it's, intent, it's instead descended into an autocracy. Uh, and it is historically an ally of the United States and a member of NATO, but it no longer can I think fairly be described as an ally and it's an independent actor. It, uh, for instance, um, bought a uh, air and defense missile program from Russia, uh, which NATO even but won't say it consciously still exists in large measure to uh, contain. Uh, the US uh, as a result froze it out of, froze Turkey out of our new fighter jet uh, F-35 program. Uh, which uh, Turkey had already paid quite a bit of money for. Um, so that's just one of several U.S.-Turkey naughty diplomatic um, encounters uh, that Flake is going to have to deal with. This, this is not going to be uh, an easy day at the, at the beach for him. He's taking on one of the toughest diplomatic assignments um, the U.S. faces. Yeah, if it's, if it's going to turn into a cushy diplomatic assignment, it looks like he has years of work ahead to make it so. Let's hope he knew all this ahead of time and is still ready to take take the job. <laughs> I, I think Jeff has always had a deep interest in foreign policy. I don't think he would have been interested uh, in one of the cushy ambassadorship. Uh, it was being a point person on something terribly important and difficulty and difficult in foreign policy that I think interested him. And it's quite a statement uh, that Biden has turned to him uh, to manage uh, this very important relationship. It will be interesting to see uh, what he makes of it. A great analysis as always, Bob. Thanks for focusing our attention on that part of the world. Thanks.